Are you ready? Go to stophate.com and learn everything about January 6th. The truth is being made apparent. David Summerall from Stop Hate, October 17th, 2022. How are you, ready? David? Yes. Doing good. How are you? Great. It's a beautiful night in Washington, D.C., and everyone wants to know the truth about January 6th. Well, I tell you what, you have been sending some fantastic pictures of those posters in front of the Capitol, and I tell you what, that is the exact thing that we need to be doing, but we need to do it everywhere, every state, every capital, everywhere that we can. We need to remind people that five people were murdered by the Capitol and Metro Police, either by brute force or negligent homicide in Officer Sicknick's case. And that's the truth of the story of the day. And they've tried to flip the entire narrative and blame Trump supporters and blame Trump. They impeached him for Sicknick's murder, and he wasn't murdered. He had a stroke. He died of natural causes. That's been determined by coroners, not by people that have opinions. So this whole make-believe story, the J6 committee, it's falling apart day by day. We know there was no plan with any organizers as far as insurrection. Uh, you know, the Oath Keepers and Proud Boys are going through the ringer right now. We really need to support everyone that's in trial, everybody that's going to trial, and these families that are suffering from this great injustice. But I really believe the focus needs to be on the five deaths. The reason I say that, you don't hear anyone talking about the five deaths. Now, we have the article on StopHate.com that has the details, the witnesses, the videos, and and everyone that, that saw that, that, that witnessed it. We, we have those interviews and, and those statements, and there's no question as to what happened, and that's why nobody wants to address it, because they know they're guilty. They know that's the secret, in my opinion, to breaking this whole thing open, and I believe that's why they cremated some of those victims the way they did to hide the evidence, for lack of a better way to put it, and to trick the public with the stories by saying Kevin Greeson and, and, and Benjamin Phillips died of natural causes is a crime. They, they were killed by flashbang grenades, concussion grenades. They stop your heart. They're used improperly on the whole crowd. People were injured left and right, but those two men lost their lives. And Roseanne Boylan, they said, died of a drug overdose. And that's disgusting to think that they looked into her record just a little bit and saw something about a drug rehab and put it in there that she died of a methamphetamine overdose when in actuality it was Lila Morris, a Metro police officer, that beat the life out of her with a stick after she was CS gassed into unconsciousness and Tommy Tatum there was next to her when that happened and I really appreciate him being there today I know it's a traumatic experience to visit that very spot again and to relive some of those traumatic moments and if you think back the committee had all the counselors for all the people that were inside oh it was traumatic for them no it was traumatic for those who lost their lives for those who witnessed it those who were beaten until they were disfigured those who were hit with explosives and rubber bullets those who were struck by police batons for no reason those who got their teeth knocked out you know hundreds and hundreds of injuries by these police that were put in this situation i'm not saying it's all their fault and i'm not saying they all acted bad but there were some who did and they need to be held accountable and we need to get the truth out about what happened on january 6th especially about the deaths now we're not winning the arguments about due process we're not winning the fight when it comes to torture and treatment and, and the realities of what's going on with that, but we can win this fight about the deaths because there is no question, no question when you have video evidence and witnesses as to how these people died and it does not fit the lies of the government and the media, it does not fit at all because it's not the same story. They made up the officer Signick story overnight. 
he was laying there in the hospital. You could see that he was not damaged. You could see he didn't have a big head wound. The paramedics in their own film from D.C., the paramedics said, didn't mention a head injury because there wasn't one. He wasn't wounded like that. They came to him, they said he was unconscious and that the D.C. police were trying to do CPR on him, but he wasn't in cardiac arrest. I'm telling how much damage they did, they did there, but they still praised themselves as heroes of the day, the paramedics, and they let five people die on their watch. And some of them could have been saved, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but it would have been worth a try. And yet the people had to carry Benjamin Phillips out on a barricade because the paramedics wouldn't come back in after they got crescent. And we have video showing that nobody laid a hand on those people. Nobody attacked them. Nobody was after any paramedics or police. Just the opposite. So when you see these things coming out more and more, just know that the stories these prisoners are telling you about the treatment and about January 6th are true and they're verifiable by video. Most of these things that happened, somebody caught a glimpse of it. We still need more evidence. We still want more video. And anyone can send that to stophate.com. Stophate.com. Everyone go to stophate.com to learn the true story about January 6th. that are still suffering through this. They need us now more than ever. It's been almost two years for a lot of these guys in jail with only a video call once in a while if they're lucky. So imagine not seeing your family for two years. And those of you that don't have a lot of family, imagine not seeing your pets for two years. What's their lifespan? What are they going through? So I'm just saying, it, it, there's a lot to consider, but I do believe that y'all are doing the exact right thing by going to the Capitol and putting a big spotlight on the murders from that day. They weren't natural causes. They weren't a drug overdose. They weren't justified. They weren't objectively reasonable. They were negligent. They were brutal. They were murders. And that's what the American public needs to find out all the details about and that will get us to the bottom of this that will set our people free when the true criminals from that day switch places with our hostages we can just do a trade but i am all about the awareness on these deaths go to stophate.com even our research and our events and travel and vigils and everything that we try to do to put that big light stop hate.com slash support and you can be a part of our team you can help us raise the awareness that's needed to put an end to this no one else is coming to our rescue no one is helping us our representatives our police our judges our lawyers no one is on our team but us and we need all of us to step up and step in and do something whether it's the calls to action at stophate.com slash j6 you can get a prayer group you can write letters you can contact your senator there's petitions there's the department of defense with all their personal give send go links or you can help with investigations you can do vigils wherever you live you can raise awareness by sharing all the articles that we've done all the movies we put out two movies about about January 6th so far and tons of videos so just go and share multiple times a day focus on the deaths because that's what they don't want to talk about I believe that can really mission that they're in when people find out the truth about what actually happened on January 6th because we know it's not what they said but so many people still don't know what it was this is our chance to tell them so. Thank you so much for going there, Cran and Tommy, both of y'all. Y'all are heroes for doing that, putting yourselves. Thank you, David. Have, have hassled y'all, and I know Antifa does not make it easy no, when they're screaming obscenities at you.
but you guys are awesome rock stars. I appreciate everything you're doing. We appreciate you, David. Well, anything I can do to help support, you know, our J6 family, that's, that's what we're here for. That's our purpose. And, uh, you know, for the last two years, I think there's very few people that have, you know, stayed in there. Our core group has, and, and I'm so proud of everybody for, you know, staying the distance. It's not easy. It's a lot of pressure, a lot of sadness, a lot of just devastation and just carnage. And to experience that, Tommy, I know that you experienced it that day. And I know that you relive that every time you go through your investigations. And I know you being much. there has to be hard, man. And I, I'm Thank so you. proud of you for standing up and facing that to get this message out. But you guys just keep up the good fight. Thank you so much. God bless both of y'all. And God bless everybody for supporting. Thank you, David. And uh, Please just help. Get I tell my head to the vigil. <laughs> All right. Are you there, David? The phone keeps cutting uh, in and out. Yeah, I thought I'd lost you there for a second. This was an incredible experience. Thank you for this opportunity, David. Oh, you're sure welcome. Listen, I want you to keep doing it if you can, and I want to come join you if I can. And uh, more people, you know, in their own capitals. They don't have to go all the way to D.C., but anywhere you are, you can stand out on the corner and hold a sign. Go to stopate.com and have one of those posters made. It's in the... Uh, calls to action under free downloads or whatever you'll find it in there and uh you know download those posters go ahead and made it to your local and tell people this is what happened but so you can help support our people in their time of need all right girl thank you so much y'all be safe out there you hear me thank you no okay. thank you and God bless y'all. We'll talk to you real soon. God bless you. We'll call you back. Okay. Thank thanks. you. Everyone, please donate to stophate.com. This is really serious. We need vigils in all of your cities by all of your jails where political prisoners are being held because of January 6th. And we need all of y'all to educate about what really happened on January 6th in Washington, D.C. So please go to stophate.com. And I shall return. May the goodness bless your life. God bless you. Peace.